Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have an island tour for you. If you can't tell by the way that I'm dressed and my surroundings, we are on a fall themed island. It's coming up on October and I think a lot of us are wanting to decorate for fall, whether it be in our houses or our islands or both. So I'm super excited to bring you this island, Cresselia. This island was done by Sweet Magnolia Sarah here on YouTube and on Instagram. This is a town full of warm, cozy memories of the 70s. So not only is this a fall island, but it is a vintage fall island. I'm super excited to see it. I've seen a ton of pictures of this island and it's gorgeous but this is my first time actually seeing it i'm so sorry about my stuffy nose i've been sick for the last day or two and i really felt up to making this video today but i don't sound the best so let's just ignore that please and i also wanted to point out this beautiful dress that i'm wearing the dress that I'm wearing is done by Chris.Crossing on Instagram. She has made a little fall collection and I will be switching through the different outfits she made because she happened to just release them right before I loaded up this island. It was perfect timing and it was meant to be. So definitely check out Chris.Crossing on Instagram. That's Crystal. She is amazing. So let's go ahead and pull up the map. So this is the map of Cresselia. Here we have Sarah and lots of fall themed villagers. Mac, Cole, Nan, or Nan, Zell, Bea, she's so cute, Sally, Bones, Patty, Ellie, and Pearl. These are such cute villagers. It looks like she has them all lined up in a neighborhood behind resident services. So let's get right into this tour, you guys. So right when you enter the island, you will approach the record shop. The record shop sells a lot of music done by the ever most famous KK Slider. Totally just made up that word, evermost. It's not really a word. Maybe it is. I don't know. But check out the retro pathing she has used. I love how she laid it on top of the brick pathing. It looks so cute. And I love this path here as well. If you are looking for any of these codes, they are in her highlights on her Instagram. So don't forget to check that out. Let's get a better view of the record shop. The use of the curtains here are so perfect. Oh, I'm jamming to this music too. All right. And actually let's go to the right because I always like to find where resident services is in relation to the airport. So I believe if we head this way, through this beautiful garden check out all of these different color flowers and the symmetry here wow i love the water around the side that is so pretty and this will bring you to resident services which when you wake up from your dream sarah has left a bunch of presents for you and they will all be right here I have all those presents in my inventory here. Let's, I forgot to mention that. She has provided plenty of retro items. Including this hat and these glasses that I'm wearing. And here we have Cole. Thanks for the warm welcome, Cole. So she has decorated all of her beaches and interiors, but let's just go ahead and check out the beach down here. I'm excited to see it. Oh, and we found the campsite. So right next to the campsite, here we have a beach camping site. 
complete with two campers here. I love all the patterns that she used. Check out the blankets on the floor. I love when we overlap these blankets here. It always looks so good. And here are some more tents here. Oh, how beautiful. Look at her creeping on us in the background. I see you back there, Sarah. She's trying to turn around so we can't see her. So lovely. Let's see if I can sneak back there. Doesn't look like it can. Alright, so if we follow the path, we have a nice seating area here. This is a cute photo opportunity. Aww. And the pathway leads us to Nooks. Her villagers are super active right now. I love that. Aww. Just strolling along on this Sunday morning, shopping around. What can we find? So if we follow the path this way, I love how she has decorated the borders. Let's talk to her. She says welcome. Check out her little fit. Super cute. Alright, I'm going to try to get a photo with her. Please hold. Okay, I definitely failed at getting a picture with her, but let's check out the beach over here. I love how she decorated the rock. She has a nice shaped rock, like... I mean, I guess you can't really put a lot right here, but my rocks are so small and awkward. But this is such a cute area. I love it. Looks like we have a little miniature post office here. I love the custom design on the pillow. And there she is again. Oh, and looks like we have a farmer's market. How cute is this? All of the different fruits and vegetables. This is the entrance to her neighborhood, I believe. So cute. I'm obsessed with the pathway, you guys. And just the layout of this island. We have a gas station over here. It's so retro. We love retro, you guys. Retro gas station. Looking good. And then let's check out the beach over here. Looks like the beach is a construction zone and we're not supposed to enter, but we're rebellious here on this channel, so why not? I love it though, of course. I always love everything. You'll, you will never hear me say, yo, I hate that, unless it is Ward Jr. I hate him for sure. But this is to the right of Resident Services. I did not go down this pathway here, but you saw a little bit of it when I was by Nooks. And let's go into the neighborhood. I love how this island is so full, but at the same time, you have plenty of space to run around it's perfect oh and she did say the interiors are done so we are going to check out the homes of the villagers that are home so let's see who this is here we have patty's house how adorable is this i can't believe she was able to fit so much in here the retro tv and the chessboard the couch, the magazine, this is adorable. And look at her little bedroom with her little study nook. That's super adorable, you guys. So retro. All right, so let's continue to the neighborhood. Oh, so beautiful. All right, look at this courtyard. 
and looks like we have another villager that's home. Looks like we have Bea's house here. So elegant. And she still has some space to walk around. Love that. She has a spot to put on her makeup because she obviously wears some, I guess. I'm assuming that's blush, but really, maybe she doesn't wear makeup. Who knows? But her house is gorgeous. I love the use of the rug and the sofas are so cute. I love how she used different color bushes in the background, like different colors of green. It looks so pretty and they complement each other so well. And the use of the hedges also is so pretty. The different autumn tree shades, like everything is so perfect. So this is Nan's house. Nan is roaming around the island somewhere. And this is Cole's house. Cole is also roaming around the island. You guys, this is such a pretty neighborhood. Let's check out who's home here. Here we have Bones' house. He's wondering why I just barged in and went to sleep on his sofa. But then he doesn't really care very much, so. So many details here. Like, what is he eating? A stuffed tomato? Not really sure if that sounds appetizing or not. But he has a cute little bedroom over here in the corner with some books. 7 up on his bulletin board because you know we're so vintage I love it this sweater is perfect too such a cute little house and such a nice touch for him to have a fire hydrant in a dog house outside of his home although there's a mean dog in there that dog's mad because Bones has an actual house and he has a little tiny house. Here we have some more beautiful houses. All of the different tones of brown and red complement each other so much. This is Zell's house. We already saw Zell roaming around the island. And let's see who this is. Here we have Ellie's house also perfectly modeled this is like the perfect 70s house if there was like a house model for a 70s house this would be it like the floral wallpaper the light fixture the screen divider thing the couch for sure everything you guys I love it okay so I did a little outfit change this is dress is also by Chris dot crossing I want to wear all four of her designs but I do usually forget to change my outfit so so far we're doing good although I think my shoes need to be changed to the white one that's a little better the hat doesn't match perfectly, but I don't really have any other option. But it's still cute. So here's the back of the neighborhood. This is so lovely. Looks like we have a library here. A nice little reading area. Look at the lamp, you guys. I could hang out here all day. But you guys don't have time for that, so check out this area over here. Wow, I love this. I don't know how you get down there, but it's so pretty. Ah, now I'm stuck. 
Do you guys ever get stuck somewhere and then you panic and you make it worse? That's me. I don't think you can get down there, but it's just such a pretty view. Love it. And the waterfalls here. So pretty. She has done such an amazing job on this island. And what do we have over here? It looks like just a community area. Lots of different things. Oh, and look at the little chess area. I just am in love with the pattern that she used all around this island. This one and the striped pattern. Just all of them. So let's head down this path and looks like we have came to the museum. That is so beautifully decorated for fall. It's too bad we can't decorate the outside of the museum to change it with our island colors or if it's changed for the seasons that would be amazing but you know we're not that lucky. But I love how she has disguised it. Also, I did not know that the scooter has a light that turns on. And check out this beautiful book right here. I've never seen that before. I think that's the scrapbook. But I've never actually seen it used, and I love it. Um, underrated item alert. And I love this pathway centerpiece. All the different seating areas. She has gotten so creative making little areas as space fillers. I saw this staircase from the neighborhood and wanted to make sure that I got all of this area here. Did we see this house? No, so this house is to the left of resident services. This is Sally's house. I love how it's decorated. Check out her little ottoman with the pattern on it. Super cute. And the curtains here. I just, I just can't. I just can't, you guys. I feel like I should be drinking a pumpkin spice latte on this island. Like, that diagonal pathway shaped around resident services if I had the wide angle camera mod on you would be able to see but it makes like a V around resident services well like a V with a flat part you know but then it goes back up you know you know you guys know what I mean super cute so let's go back past Sally's house and towards the museum but let's go left oh my goodness check out the pathway on the ground looks like we found a pizza place a pizza diner shall we call it I love it and it has a buffet which reminds me so much of my childhood I was not born in the 70s, but I was born in the 90s where we did still always go to buffets. I know now with COVID, um, buffets have died out a lot, and even since before COVID, they were dying out, but it was like a huge thing in my childhood, so I'm definitely feeling all the retro vibes here with this flooring. I can imagine this is what it was like in the 70s. Oh, and looks like I found a land bridge, but I don't think I was supposed to see that yet. So let's go back up to the museum and to the left. Back here. Oh, I love this seating area. Right by the ocean. Such a great place for pictures. Oh, we look so cute. Oh. And this brings us to the secret beach. Red can't get here on this island. We don't need him and his scams. Such a lovely view.
And heading back up to the left, we have found a house on the hill with a pumpkin farm. How cute. This is obviously Sarah's house and I'm so excited to see the inside. Let's go check it out. So this is the main room in the house and I am blown away, speechless. She blocked off the back room, but it looks like we have the left and the right to explore, as well as the upstairs and downstairs. But I love the reading nook that she made over here. So cute, but let's go ahead and go to the right. Looks like we have a kid's bedroom here. Love it. Here we have a kitchen with a balcony. This house was on the beach, so of course it makes sense that we have a balcony with a beach view. Right outside the kitchen, like that is amazing. Can I have this house? Like I don't even care that it's 70s, like the 70s are coming back, right? Sarah has definitely brought the 70s back, you guys. It's so freaking cute in here. This is her upstairs bedroom. Complete with a master suite. Look at this awesome shower, you guys. Love that. Even a place to put her shoes. And let's turn around and check out this wall. We have a radiator on the wall. I love the seating area here. Sarah has outdone herself. And here we have a basement for the cool kids. Like, I remember when I was a kid, although it was the 90s, but when I was a kid, I'd always go to my neighbor's house and she was one of my best friends and she had such a fun basement like this like it was for the kids to hang out and this is perfect the laundry room was down there too so this is like a complete copy of her house sarah do you know her do you know my neighbor from when i was a kid because this is awesome i love it in the seven up design on the neon board thing i don't know what it's called and the pinball machines, like, amazing. She even had a pool table. So that was Sarah's house here on the beach on the third level. I love it. And I'd like to take a shortcut. And I'm stuck. Never mind. But maybe if I go this way, I think I can get down there. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe I should follow the path. Okay, so I have to go back this way. And I know I can't go that way. So let's head back down. We saw this already and let's go up this way flight of stairs. Check out the garden shop that I definitely missed. They have all kinds of different plants for you to buy. And another cute seating area. Sarah is the master at seating areas. I love it. I'm always trying to think of seating area ideas. And check this out. This looks like it's behind Abel's. I saw a little sneak peek of Abel's. I'm seriously loving that pattern so much. But if we head this way, we have found her land bridge. Look at that beautiful pathway down there of flowers. All of the orange flowers, so pretty. And this leads us back up to her house. 
So a very dramatic entry for the best house on the island. And let's go check out the flower field. Wow. It's like, I just want to frolic. What a cute way to decorate a small little rock. Oh, and looks like we found an apple bakery on her peninsula. You can get some apple jelly or jam. You can get some apple cider. You could just buy some apples or apple pie. I would have never really figured out how to decorate a peninsula like this. It looks so good. And check out this rock back here. I am obsessed. Beautiful. I love how she put the bricks on the ground as well. That looks amazing. And back to the flower field. Let's check out the rest of the beach. Here we have a lovely retro seating area with a perfect backdrop for photos. The perfect fall photo shoot. Oh, and I love the beach chairs with the patterns on it. It looks so good. She has done such an awesome job on her beaches. A lot of us like give up when we get to our beaches. I found the community playground. Check this out. Complete with a basketball hoop and seating area for the parents to sit and watch their kids play. I love it. We have a soccer field. And we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, so let's backtrack a little bit. We passed all of this stuff up, but let's go back. So that was the flower and tree area. Check out the beautiful waterfalls. And that leads us to a Thanksgiving feast. Fall is not complete without Thanksgiving. Everything at this table looks and smells amazing. Oh, I love this bench right here with the cushion on it. That is adorable. I love all the water features on this island. It gives such a nice backdrop. Oh, and we have a drive-in. The 70s are not complete without a drive-in, you guys. I don't know how many of you were alive in the 70s. Probably not a ton of us, but they definitely had drive-ins which I wish still existed. There are a few in the country of America. I don't know about other countries, but there are a few left. I just wish there were more. And of course, the drive-in is not complete without the concession stand. So lots of greasy food available for purchase probably super overpriced oh and look at the waterscaping heading over to Abel's this is beautiful
look at the retro sweaters that Abel's is selling. And here we are back to resident services. But we are not done with the tour just yet. Back to this, the record store by the entrance, but we have this final beach to explore. Oh, check out the seating area over here. This is awesome. What a nice way to decorate the beach. And heading back over the bridge, let's check out the beach down here. The beachside carnival. The colors fit so well with the fall theme and the vintage theme. Of course, we have some snacks and some arcade games. Arcade games. This is so cute. I love it. Hello from the Retro Beachside Carnival and let's check out her dock. Perfect. I love it you guys. I hope you guys love this island as much as I did. I could basically live here. Thank you so much to Sarah for letting me visit this island. I'm so ready for fall. I wish I could go ahead and decorate, which, you know, what's stopping me? Nothing. Just being sick a little bit, but other than that, nothing. So thank you so much to Sarah for letting me tour your island. It was truly beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I know that I have been doing some modded builds on my channel recently, but this island is mod free, 100%. No mods here, so anyone can do this type of island and use any of these items. They are perfect. Oh, and look at Sarah joining me on the bridge she's so cute also don't forget to check sarah out on youtube and instagram and don't forget to check out chris.crossing for these beautiful fall dresses i've been wearing throughout the tour i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you in the next one